Hello, my name is Pony Seven, and welcome back to the Ten Days of Autumn campaign, mission fourteen. Bad news. Uh, today's mission is we are two in a flight of two. Two is just there, just over the tail. Form, do a uh, free hunting over an area. Although we had to uh, find our fuel, but it's effectively once we reach the area, it's uh, free hunting. See what we can't find. So, I will break things off here. Make sure he's actually joining up. And I'll bring you back once we find something to hunt. Or shoot down. So I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back. And, um, as you can see, there's a lot of air activity going on down there. Looks like fighters and IL-2s, or just IL-2s that are acting as fighters. Because that sometimes happens. It's IL-2s and ISHACs. Let's dive onto this guy, if we can. No bad angle. Although we can carry through onto one of the leaders of the IL-2s. Couple hits, nothing major. Let's pull out and not stay in the same spot. Don't want to give those ice shacks an easy target. Where are the ice shacks? Oh, they're over there, uh, playing with somebody. Not sure who they're playing with, but they're playing with somebody else. Oh, it looks like the IL-2s are dropping their bombs. They may be running for home. We have one on in front. There we go, he's leaking something. And he took strikes around the engine area, so he may be out of the fight. Not certain, though. Let's roll it over and not stall it out in front of this ice shack. And go back in again. But we do have an ice shack coming in. Not at us, though. Actually, kind of at us. Roll over and deal with him first. Oh, this is not good. Okay, never mind. It worked out fine. There he is. Back at our behave. No, no, no. Barely see the little tracers from the from the cannon and machine gun fire. I'm assuming these are Type 24s. They're Type 24s. So if my memory serves me right, do you have cannons? So I'm assuming what some of that was. I do know, however, they do have machine guns. There he is. I want to get cleaner shots though. Those are falling behind. And that's stall. Yeah, because we're going at like 200 kilometers an hour. We're effectively stalling out. Although he is now heading back towards these guys. Although if we were... Our engine needs to rest right now. No hits there, which is unfortunate. Would've been nice, but uh, didn't get lucky. Okay, they're both in turns to the front. That is good. Yeah, 
Yes, there we go. Good eye, Shaq. Lead your energy. Let me close with you. That's a good eye, Shaq. I had good shots there, but just off. Gotta wait for him to straighten out again. Or get some lucky hits. Uh, either works. There he goes. No. Alright, I've used half my cannon ammunition. I got a hit there, there we go. I was aiming too much, I think. For the range. Zigging gas. I'm not doing very well right now. I can tell you that. Let's try and gain a little bit of health. Okay, that's our friendly guy shooting from much farther away. Oh, he scored a hit. Well, good shooting there, buddy. And we're almost stalling. But I want to gain altitude in order to gain some speed and dive back on him. Actually, that's our number. That's our wingman. There we go, and hopefully. Oh, there he goes. He's failed. Died from wounds. Something's happened. And but he's going down. There he goes. Right, so I'll break things off here and I'll bring you back. Let's make sure we're not damaged. Nope, not leaking anything. I'll bring you back when we find something else. Although fairly certain we're fairly soon we're gonna have to uh, be extremely careful because we're down to less than half in cannon ammunition. So I'll see you then. Alright, welcome back. We are just getting ready. Turn in for final to land. You're at the airbase. We did encounter... There we go. I thought something was wrong for a moment. It's like, why did they both not lock? No, they just... One was delayed and coming down. We did encounter... Uh, one... Additional formation of Russian planes, however... Uh, there was only two of us around at the area at the moment. We had less than half our ammunition left for cannons and also half ammunition for machine guns. And they were at a much higher altitude, so I felt they, uh, you know, uh, bravery is a better part of valor. And I decided that it would be best to not engage the formation that had the advantage over us in terms of positioning and also ammunition and aircraft and decided to continue home. So here we are. Let's get this going in case I decide to put it in. And now should be good on the glide slope I think. Nobody's in the way. We're actually a little bit high, I think, maybe. I eh, should be fine. Actually, we're off center. We're coming in at an angle. Normally we come in more that way. Not this time, though. Although I guess we still can come in a little bit this way. 
Although he's sitting right in the runway right now. Actually, not too bad of a landing. And I only just realized now, despite how long I've been flying this 109 for this, the after only took 14 missions, only just realized that's the cannon that right there. Sproller off the runway. Now, right here is good enough. Engine off, open the canopy. That's uh, mission 14 completed. So, only one mission left. And then uh, we'll be done with the 10 days bottom campaign. Then I'll have to figure out uh, what we're going to do next. For, uh, well, either the yeah, Blazing Steps or we're going to go and do the uh, Pat Wilsons. Or if, uh, if 3.0 has been released by then, then uh, we'll be doing the possibly a career. But either way, I'll figure it out then. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, see you all next time.